Hooray for Hollywood! Hello there, I'm Stan the Movie Man, and this is your WIMZ.com movie review. This week your votes at WIMZ.com sent me to see The Mechanic, starring Jason Statham, Ben Foster, Tony Goldwyn, and Donald Sutherland. The uh, mechanic of the title is played by Statham, whose character's name is Arthur Bishop. Bishop is a mechanic, uh, which is a code name for a hitman. He works for some shadowy organization which may be affiliated with the government or organized crime. We're never told, for sure. He is sent out to take out um, bad guys. Um, they could be uh, drug cartel uh, bosses, they could be organized crime figures, they could be weapons uh, uh, runners, uh, they could be um, child molesters. Whoever they are, they generally are high-profile targets, some of them very well-known people, and uh, it's uh, Statham's job to kill them. Sometimes it needs to look like an accident, sometimes it just needs to be messy. Uh, depending on what he's ordered to do, that's what he does. Um, he works uh, directly with a guy named Harry McKenna, that's Donald Sutherland's character. And one day he is, uh, Arthur's given the job to kill Harry, because allegedly Harry um, ruined a, an assignment in South Africa getting five agents killed. Um, after uh, Arthur takes care of that job, he meets Harry's son, Steve, played by Ben Foster. Ben, uh, or uh, Steve, is a troubled young man who is, uh, can't get a job, has a violent temper, tends to get in a lot of trouble, drinks a lot, uses drugs. Uh, because of guilt, uh, Arthur takes uh, Steve under his wing and begins to train him to be a mechanic. This doesn't make um, Arthur's boss, Dean Sanderson, who's played by Tony Goldwyn, real happy because um, it violates their agreement, uh, whatever that might be. Turns out, though, that uh, Dean set up Harry to uh, look like he had done something he didn't, and Arthur decides it's time for revenge. Um, you know, for the most part, the movie's pretty good for what it is. Uh, this is a remake of a uh, Charles Bronson movie from the 70s, from, of the same name. Um, and and it's, it's kind of interesting, f uh, at least parts of it, um, the dynamic between these two men who are at sort of odds, but uh, Steve doesn't realize that Arthur is the one who killed Harry. Um, and and that, that gets kind of weird at times. And, and Tony Goldwyn's character uh, as the ultimate bad guy is, um, you know, uh, one of these slick guys who never gets his hands dirty. Um, so, you know, for the, mo for the most part, the movie's pretty good. Now, it takes some flights of insanity uh, in some parts. There are uh, jobs that just go way too smoothly. Um, uh, and, you know, nobody can shoot except uh, Arthur and Steve. None of the bad guys can shoot straight, um, you know. It just, it just breaks down at points because it becomes so unbelievable. Um, so, you know, I, I can't give it a real high recommendation. It isn't terribly imaginative, but the action scenes, for the most part, are well done. Um, and some of the characters are interesting. It just, it just falls apart story-wise at places, especially the ending. I'll, I'll have to say the ending isn't isn't terribly good. I'm giving it three guitars. Uh, the action scene's pretty good and it has good spots, but it, it just doesn't quite all work together. Go to WIMZ.com to read my complete review as well as to vote on the movie I see next time. If you have any questions, feel free to send them to me at StanTheMovieMan at ATT.net. You can also follow me on Twitter at MovieManStan. Till next time, see ya.